Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this match day minus one press conference. We have here our head coach, Mr. Marko Kanerva, from a player's side, Teemu Pukki and Lukas Radetsky. And uh, about the questions, just uh, when you ask a question, just wait for the microphone and, and only after that ask the question and so on. And we will do it more or less all English. Just let's see that how many questions it will be in English, and then maybe after that we might have a couple of questions in Finnish language. Okay, to start this press conference, Mr. Kanarva, about your preparations. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. About the preparation, yeah, we had a <clears throat> tough game against Kazakhstan in Astana, and pretty tough return back to, to Helsinki, uh, night flight, but yeah, Let's see, I don't know the feelings of the players, how they have recovered, but it looks like they have re recovered pretty well. And uh, yeah, we're train, going to train uh, once, once now in the afternoon, and uh, yeah, how ready the players are. That will be see tomorrow. I'm very confident that uh, uh, recovery process and Progression has has gone pretty well, and the players are ready for tomorrow, which will be a very exciting game, and especially because we get a huge huge support from our fans tomorrow, as we did in June, and I'm sure that that gives us a lot of energy. So, Temu, recovery? Yeah, feel feel pretty good. Uh, slept really well last night. Obviously, it was. Uh, Quite quite long flight back from uh, from Kazakhstan, but I feel feel good good uh, and, and ready ready for tomorrow. And uh, yeah, excited about the game as well. Uh, it's yeah, Denmark is probably the best team in this uh, this group, so it's going to be a huge challenge for us. But uh, we've been uh, we got some some good results lately, and uh, with the support of our fans, I believe we can. Get something out of this. So of course, whenever we we play with Finland, we wanna wanna win our games, and that's the aim aim for tomorrow as well. Yeah, Lucas, about the opponent, Denmark. Tough. Oh, I mean, we all, of course. I think this opponent we know better than the than the than the other ones. Uh, for me, the favorite still in the group. I mean, we are happy. Uh, we we are halfway now, and we have a two point advantage to the. Biggest concurrents, uh, so uh, yeah. I mean, we have three home games coming up. This is the biggest one, of course, and uh, we wanna we wanna make the difference even bigger. We need we need a dream dream game from our side, but uh, we are confident after the recent results. And uh, yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. Okay, any questions, please? Can you raise your hand from there? Uh, you're saying that you're fine after the, the long uh, flight, uh, but have it been any kind of uh, concern uh, that, that the long journey from Kazakhstan to Finland before uh, important, an important match against Denmark? Uh, both for the, uh, the coach and, and for you, Timo. I can start. I mean, uh, everybody has to go there. We, uh, we don't make a big number out, out of it. Uh, we had a Good sauna session yesterday. I had a beer and 12 hours sleep, so it's. Uh, I'm, I'm. I mean, I'm ready. It's uh, like I said. Uh, we all need to go there, and uh, the win made it a lot easier. Of course, I mean, it's. Uh, it was vital, and uh, we are ready. Yeah, obviously, it's not the uh, best scenario to 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 play uh, over there on Thursday night, and then then play play on Sunday in Finland as well, and. And the flight as well. For reasons you can't go straight straight to Kazakhstan now, you need to do a bit of round round trip uh, around Europe to to come back here. So it's it's not the best scenario, but uh, I, I I do feel the players are are ready ready tomorrow whenever uh, the game starts. Yeah, well, we knew that beforehand. It's going to be a, a challenge to play on Thursday away, long away from home, and, and then on Sunday, but. Uh, we have to adapt to that, those kind of situations, and and I think uh, the players realize that, and that's history actually. Now, now, the big game is waiting for us tomorrow, and I think we are ready. Good. Next one, please. Yeah, from them, and then you. Uh, 
tuota, Juus Rajaho, Ilkka Pohjalaisesta kysymys. Oikeastaan sorry. voi kaikki sorry. vastata, jos siltä... My... Sorry, in English. Okay. Uh, about the first match against Denmark, uh, question for, for everybody actually. Uh, what do you need to improve from that game? If I start. Uh, not concede so many goals. Okay, they scored three goals. If you think about that game, it was a very hard, hard game for us and start the qualification uh, in Parken. And we hung on pretty well, 80, 82 minutes. Uh, there was a chance for us to, to get a point, an important one. But unfortunately, in the end, Denver won, won us. And yeah, we have to defend better, hopefully. Uh, keep the clean sheet and be able to score one or two goals. The same. We have to improve our attacking game, which is very difficult because Denmark is a quality team. They defend very well. And if you think about the attacking threats and, and strengths, there are so many skillful top players playing in, in European top leagues. So we have to be aware of those guys. And of course, if you think about the midfield players. So the key thing is actually <clears throat> try to find some, some ways to hurt them. And uh, we have spoken with, with players and, and trained even before this game how we can develop our attacking game. And of course, we have to be very careful with the simple things like, like passes, accurate passes, uh, first touches, receiving the ball. And of course, to be very strong in duels as well. I agree. Yeah, we can't give a better answer. <laughs> Next one from, from there. You're two point up of Denmark. Will you be satisfied with one point uh, tomorrow? Um, yeah, I, I, I would be. I would be for sure. I mean, like I said, I mean, Kazakhstan also, we, were, we would have been happy at the end, but uh, we came through. And uh, if it's going to be a 0 0 1 1 tomorrow for a long time, we. Won't panic, we will try to control the game and uh, yeah, 100% we will be happy with one point. Yeah, after the game maybe if you have uh, much better scoring chances than, than Denmark and if we dominate the game and uh, then a draw would be a disappointment for us. But let's see <laughs> what happens in the game. It depends how the, play, the game goes, goes on. But I would not be very disappointed with a draw, let's say, like that. Last time you played uh, Rasmus Højlund, uh, scored three times. Have you made a plan to stop him tomorrow? Um, we know this, that there are a lot of good, good strikers in the Danish team. And of course, Rasmus Hedlund has been very effective in the qualification games. He's got a lot of goals, but there are other, other good strikers as well. And we, can, we can't in, not only focus on, on Hedlund, and uh, we have to be able to defend as, as a team, very compact and effective. And uh, we are not go going to put two players to mark him. <laughs> so we have to play as a team very well. Uh, I have a question for Ribe. Daniel Hawkins left the camp. Uh, do you have any details from his injury and how he's doing? Yeah, uh, when we came came to Helsinki, uh, then we knew that there's a, a little problem with the hamstring, but not not so serious. He will be out of the, out of the football training maybe a couple of weeks. So I hope that he will be available in our games in October. And that's a pity, of course, that he injured himself, but because he would have been very useful in these two games. Yeah, next one. Uh, tomorrow, Christian Eriksen uh, is uh, together with the Danish uh, team. Last time you guys uh, played against him, we all know what happened. Um, is it some kind of special location um, that he's uh, with the team again? 
I do think it's great to see him back, back, uh, back on pitch. And obviously, it was a tough day for probably all of all of us who were who were there. And uh, yeah, I had a chance to play against him in in, in England, and we spoke after. And uh, I think it was yeah a year and a half ago. He said he f- even feels better than before it happened. So so it, it looks great for him, and uh, he's doing really well. So yeah, re- just really happy to see him on on the football pitch. And uh, obviously. He is a great player, so it's going to be a yeah, huge threat for for us tomorrow. We need to keep keep him quiet if we wanna wanna get something out of out of out of the game. Perfect answer. Oh, nothing to add. Yeah, I I agree. Yeah, it's great that he's fit, and hopefully he will play against us tomorrow. More questions. Question for the players this time. Um, there's now been played five games, so each, each team has played against each other once. Has there been any surprises about what is the league table and and how good or bad has the teams played? Uh, I think in terms of points, I think, uh, of course, Kazakhstan has surprised uh, many of us positively with the win against Denmark. and. Uh, Maybe Danish team has a couple of uh, less points than they than they imagined, but uh, it's still every everything to play for. I think four four teams are still in the in the in the race for the for the two spots. So uh, yeah, it's a vital game tomorrow. I hope uh, we will uh, be on the right side of the of the line uh, after tomorrow's game. And uh, yeah, I mean, but I think it's going to go up till the last last couple of game days to to make it clear who will go through at the end. Yeah, uh, I, I agree. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not, nothing to add. Uh, so, so like he said, it, it will go till the end to see who, who will qualify, and, uh, and yeah, hopefully it's it's us. Any questions still in English? Anybody? No. Okay, then. Did my word out the Suomeksi. Onko halukkuutta suomenkielisiin kysymyksiin? Jos ei, niin me kiitämme. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.